welcome to the Arcade and Everybody Game Alpha Series, the show that looks at old school arcade games and rates them. I'm Carl Sardella, and joining me as always is Gary. Hey. Gary here is an up and coming video game journalist. Oh man, what do you mean up and coming? What? I just wrote this piece on Walking Dead Survival Instinct. It was retweeted 800 times. Holy crap, we should like print that out and put it up on the wall. Uh, no one does that. Oh, I guess not. The first game we're going to review is Kangaroo. That rhymes. <sighs> Kangaroo was released in 1982, manufactured by Sun Electronics and distributed by Atari. Basically, it was like a combo of Popeye and Donkey Kong. You're a mother kangaroo who wears boxing gloves for some reason that's trying to rescue your son. All the while, hostile monkeys are trying to derail your progress by throwing apples and crap at you. And you would box the monkeys and collect fruit. There was also this bell you would have to ring. I'm not even sure what that was all about. So let me guess, the kid's name was Joey. Yeah, actually it wasn't, but nice kangaroo reference. The kid's name was Kid Kangaroo. Does that make sense? Uh, I just remember liking this game. I played it at my local gas station and just pumped a bunch of quarters wait, into it. Wait, what were you doing at a gas station? I don't know, I had an arcade machine for some reason. Oh. Fun facts! Let's talk about fun facts of Kangaroo. Fun fact number one, numero uno. This was actually a cartoon, Gary. It was a cartoon based oh, on the why? video game. Um, I don't know why. Uh, it was really weird and was part of CBS's Saturday morning Supercade. Do you remember that? What were you doing up that early on Saturday? Oh, because that's what you did. You watch cartoons in the morning. Oh. Oh, I don't think they do that anymore, do they? It's all the, on the internet. Yeah, I just YouTube this crap. Like Gary said, the show was pretty ridiculous, but I think I remember actually enjoying it. Basically, a lot of the cartoons were the same style of terrible animation back then in the 80s, and us kids just kind of accepted it. And for some reason, the zookeeper on the show was named Mr. Friendly. Which doesn't sound creepy at all. Fun fact number two, the game actually used some popular like classical and folk songs, I guess MIDI versions, like Oh Susanna. Uh, all right, well, what else? That was in the game. That's it. That's the fun fact. Fun fact's over. Oh, you know what that sound means? It's time for final review. <laughs> Gary, what are we giving this game? I don't know. I was thinking maybe three or four out of 10. Three or four, we pick one. 3.5 out of Three 10. and a half tokens out of 10. Why such a low score, Gary? Well, first off, you're playing a mom. That's true. I mean, how exciting is that? Yeah, it's weird. You might as well be wearing mom pants. Ooh, that'd be weird. Actually, that'd be kind of awesome. You know, if, if the game had mom pants in it, I'd give it 10 out of 10. That would not be awesome. That'd be weirder. 11 out of 10. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, okay. the game's pretty much Donkey Kong with kangaroos and monkeys. It's a fair point. All right, final score, final review. Kangaroo, 3.5 out of 10 tokens. I guess I just put that game like up on a pedestal because I was a kid, so childhood memories does that. Childhood video game memories and Gary, that's gotta be funny. Do you have any? Oh man, yeah, yeah. Speaking of moms, mm -hmm. I was playing Legend of Zelda like the first time through and I'm about to be Ganon. Okay. You know, you're in the moment. Mm -hmm. You've been fantasizing all day about being this little elf guy. Okay. Donahue comes on. What? Switches my freaking thing over. Who did? Your mom? Mom, mom comes oh, in and switches mom. it to Donahue. Moms did like Donahue. Fun fact number three, moms like Donahue in the 80s. That's it for the show. We're done. Uh, come back next week for another arcade game reviewed by Gary and myself. And until then, uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I think I might have supposed to say one other thing. Yeah, there's a few things, but you know, I don't think they really want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Actually, he was correct. There are a couple other things. One thing is, Friends of the Arcade are gonna stop by virtually via telepresence and give you their reviews on old school arcade games. You're back. Wait, telepresence? Yeah, we're using this Zaxagon why don't thingy. We, why don't we use Skype or FaceTime thing? It's, it's kind of like that. That's gonna happen, as well as another video game review next week. Come back then, and that's the true end of the show. Where did you go when you went downstairs? Where are you going? I don't know, I have a itch. Take care of something. But what's down there? Uh, well, there's some mouse. Just, we have we have mice in the arcade. That's not good. <laughs>